For the CircuitPython Parsec today, I wanted to show you how you can use function lists in CircuitPython. So you may know that you can create little useful reusable snippets of code inside of your uh, program that are called functions. So for example, in this program here, I have a few of these. Actually, I defined five of them. I lied in my comment. Uh, I have these little, I'm just calling them function A, function B, C, D, and E. And when I want to do the things in that function, it, later in my code, I can just call the function. I can just say function underscore A parentheses, and it's going to do this. It's going to print out some text. It's going to color the NeoPixels red, and it's going to do a little print statement to my REPL. Uh, what I can do to make it really convenient to use multiple functions that maybe are of a similar ilk is create a list, which you can see right here, function list equals, and then the name of all of my functions, A, B, C, D, and E. Then later on in code, I can call those by number. So function list zero, function list one, function list two will go and run those different functions for me. So you can see in my code here, I have these four Neo keys, and when I press one, uh, they have numbers, 0, 1, 2, and 3. So when these get pressed, they will call their relative function. So right now, if you check out my little um, REPL down here, when I press the first button, it says this is function A, and then it prints out 0 through 6. Uh, when I release, I'm calling function E. So any key that gets released, we call function E, so you can see it goes from red back to that amber color. The next one here picks a random number every time I press it, and the way I'm doing that in code is just simply by saying function list and the number of the key, so function list 1 in this case. Next one here uh, is function list C, it makes things blue it says, and the last one here has a little uh, timing function and you can see it's kind of blinking my lights there. So this is just a made up example, but you can see how it can be really convenient to organize your code to, so that a bunch of like functions can live inside of one function list, making it really easy to call them later on. And that is how you can use function lists inside of CircuitPython. That's CircuitPython Parsec.